Yeah, I'll see a seven minus seven four for real now. Nation breaker. Alright, let's get another 545 uh, World 2. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a while and then if, and if I just can't get a run going, do a no reset and then call it a night. Keep trying for a while at least, because the main thing I'd like is just to get a uh, run that gets uh, first try Brambler. I mean, even second try is still PB pace, because I had a death in uh, Rambi Rumble in my PB. This is it. This is the run. Thanks for the host, Anna. <laughs> How's the goading going next door? Messier fight, but still sub 230. Hey, Calico Lobster. See if monkeys behave any better. Hey, I'll tell you, evening, sir. Surely, some manner of wild animal has got to uh, be able to uh, do uh, complex platforming maneuvers tonight. I've seen that hog emote before too. Oh yes! Hedgehogs definitely very much count as a uh, wild animal that does platforming.
Yeah, I mean, they're just hairless apes, after all. I mean... That's what I learned from the Super Mario Brothers movie, at least. Five forty five, I miss you already. <laughs> Twice in a row, I've missed that jump. It's not terribly costly, but it's silly. actually do the right setup this time. <laughs> but they do though, I mean Part of the uh, part of the memorability of the game, plumbers don't wear ties, is that the plumber in the game does actually wear a tie. Consequence to getting hit in that section because of the DK barrel right there. <laughs> not sure if I was going to be safe there or not. Like what 
956 snake barrel or so. 958, so yeah, a bit slower than last run. <laughs> Most of that came from worlds 1 and 2, though. As long as it's sub 10 snake barrel, though, I'm happy with the pace overall. Just as far as going for sub 48. Yeah! DKC3's definitely gotten a lot of love the past year, I mean... Actually, hold on, got wrong warping to attempt now. No! Okay. <laughs> uh, finger kinda slipped a bit. Okay, progress. Despite that really, really sloppy uh, underwater swap. Could have been much better. <laughs> hey, Dr. Dirtnap. I do have to say, the English version of DKC3 looks a lot more fun to run than the Japanese version because the uh, exclusive tech in the English version um, for the Chaos 1 cycle looks a lot more uh, f fulfilling than the Snowman skip in the Japanese version just because it's frame perfect and looks just stupidly difficult to uh, to pull off, because it just doesn't have like a really good cue. <laughs> Alright, sub 15.
I mean, if it was up to me, I would say that US and J are just different categories, just because, uh... Because of that, but, uh, it's not up to me. Why I keep getting that checkpoint? I mean, it's not actually that helpful if I manage to die in the second half. The stage. Hey, Nacho. Thank you, sir. Congrats on the FF3 run. I think I saw that you PB'd recently. This game goes easy on the auto-scrollers, and I don't mind any of them, but if there's any that I do kind of mind, it's this one, just by the sole fact that the hardest trick in the game that I actually go for is coming up right afterwards. I got it twice in a row in practice, but I also had no trouble with the slime climb uh, warp in practice either. Alright, it's on for a while at least. <laughs> Would have been nice if that was the run with the uh, minus 7.4 after World 2, but. As long as I can finish this world without either dying or failing the uh, smaller wrong warp I go for, then I'll be gaining like 30 more for more seconds.
speaking of which. Yeah, going backwards is to get that hidden uh, speed booster. It's not required, but it speeds up the first part of the stage. to go after the warp there. Uh, DK coins are only required in 102%. never get this in a run, I can only get it in practice, getting the speed boost in the first layer. Of course, that was what killed me in my uh, PB though, was going for the layer 1 speed boost and then falling into the pit. Don't die to the boss, this will be a nice world four split. slow in the second half of the fight, but I'll take it. Is this gonna be gold? Hey! It is. Alright, let's not waste it like I wasted the other two gold splits this stream. Auto scroll well last like 
unshortenable auto scroller. For talking favorite music, mine's uh, mining melancholy. It edges out Sticker Bush Symphony a bit for me because of the percussion. dodge the English bees as I call them because for whatever reason there's an extra bee in that section I tried to jump over them in the English version of the game. sound effect there when I killed that uh, first enemy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one thing that definitely looked really hard about Game Boy Donkey Kong Country is just the small screen size ma making s just meaning so many uh, jumps are mostly blind if you're not familiar with the uh, stage layout. People that are fans of high quality gameplay might want to avert your eyes for a bit now. All I care about is not dying. 
once I get a PB with no deaths, then I'm gonna try to up my ante at this stage, but right now I just want to get a deathless PB finally. Okay, slow as heck, but deathless. Come on, let's bark let's bark the jerk bird away. dead as soon as I had to do that last section with Dixie. That's unfortunate. Got good RNG too with the uh, barrel spawns. Okay, clearly I need to just grind out this fight because this is my second PB pace run in a row that I've died on Crow to because of uh, trying to do uh, newer strats and failing. be able to come back from this, but it's going to be hard. That's so disappointing. Made it all the way to Creepy Crow and then couldn't handle it.
yeah. Sound effects are a little creative. And by a little, I mean a lot. Ahead in the final stretch is on those three slow beats. Alright, almost beat the music loop. It's possible, but it's not going to be easy. Because I basically just need to have a... I need to get first try chain link warp and then have a good uh, screeches sprint and then I can probably still swing a, 40, a high 47. This could have been a 46 though, potentially, if I hadn't died to Creepy Crow, which is... But... We'll see if it even matters! <laughs> Can't really blame the jerk bird. I mean, the jerk bird gave me really, really good barrel spawns. So that might have. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I don't, I'd have to check the tapes, but that could have potentially been Gold World 3 if uh, I'd finished the first fight. Because of getting. None of the stages are particularly bad and got really good. Uh, Yeah, that's that's a really weird glitch where you're kind of overwriting the uh, end of the stage onto the middle of it for whatever reason. comes down to need to get this warp first try for it to have any real chance at a PB. Hey Ryu, welcome in sir.
All right. Let's see what we can do. This will be a very, very sad PB if it happens, just because of losing that almost full minute on uh, <laughs> on uh, Creepy Crow. But PB is a PB, so let's bring it home. Stage would be scary if I was actually doing fast strats with, trying, with doing glitch jumps with the snake. Okay, that was unexpected. Got a lot of time to save in this next stage, so can get a 47 if I get a good sprint. It wasn't, wasn't a great start, but I didn't get hit at least. Okay, looking good. No, I'm not taking any chances, I'm just not comfortable doing this fight with Diddy. Oh, that, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, the fact that I got hit doing the race trigger skip didn't help, but uh, the fact that I didn't get hit after getting the DK barrel meant that I had confidence to do the last section kind of fast. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know if she picks stuff up slower, but she throws stuff slower, and from a and it is from a different angle too. So it is optimal to do this fight with with Diddy by a bit, but it's easier with Dixie because you can glide over his stuff. The final phase is easier to do with Diddy though, because you can just run into uh, run into the wall and he won't suck you in. PB's a PB though. I, I still can't believe I brought that back after losing a minute to uh, Creepy Crow, but uh, uh, first PB in a couple months. Oh, thanks, Siren. Thanks for GG's, everybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah. That would have been pushing 46 for sure with uh, if I hadn't died to Creepy Crow. So yeah, probably the saddest PB of my DKC2 uh, speedrunning career, but... A little bit of progress. And yeah, yeah. It's gonna be... I think it was like either two or three PBs ago where uh, um, I had, yeah, I had a, fr a minute I could save on World 5 if I didn't die, because I had a really costly death in Web Woods. <laughs> yep, next on the list. But th the list is still, still needs to include a no-death PB, though. That one made it further, because my uh, 4806 run died in Ramby Rumble. Oh, hey, this happened, by the way. Two golds, though. I wasn't expecting to gold World 6 at all. <laughs> yeah, Nacho. <laughs> I always, yeah, the fir the f my first thought after getting a PB like this is, man, I am really looking forward to finishing World 5 in runs that are on pace, because that's going to be a juicy, juicy uh, split. <laughs> Ah, uh, no death. Although, if I do get, if I finish a run with no deaths, and the and the route I use goes off pretty well, then that should be pretty much a guaranteed 47, if not 46. 
Thanks, Odin Smash. And then next up after I finally get a no death PB is to start learning some more advanced strats for earlier parts of the run. Like the main brace mayhem and uh um I I forget the name of the first stage of World 2, but the minor rung warps there. But yeah, against this run it was World 4 and World 7 that were the uh the mostly free time saves. Thanks, Matt D. <laughs> Trying to decide if I want to go again or just end in a high note. I'm kind of leaning towards going again, at least. A few, a few tries to get another run past Brambler. It's not even midnight for me yet. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll I think I'll go again. Although, just a couple tries to get past uh, Brambler, and then. If I don't if I if I don't get another run going, I'm just gonna call it. I always let the full ending play out whenever I PB to I'd really, really like to at least have a 46 before the tournament starts, if not better, because like I said, once I actually get a deathless PB, I'm going to at least start looking at some of the uh, minor time saves in the first half of the game. Because as it stands now, when I have so much time I can gain by just not dying, I feel no motivation at all to like do risky stuff that saves like five seconds or less. <laughs> I'm doubting this is enough to give me a 42 in game time, but we'll see. It's generally roughly six minutes difference for any percent uh, between uh, real time and game time. Yeah, the world record is 40-24 by Void. <laughs> now you got time, I mean it's... like two and a half months, I think, until the tournament starts. The spider has lots of shoes. <laughs> well, I don't know, I mean I'm still undoubtedly in the bottom half of the leaderboard with a 48 flat. I mean, the mark of prestige for this game is what's called cutting the twig, which is a uh, basically a, uh, a sub-44, or at least a low-44. I guess I don't even know if Twig's time was the record at any point, or what the really what the wow cutting the twig attained such uh, prestige. But well, the night—I mean, the thing I really do like about this run is that I mean, it's really it's hard, but you don't have to do the hardest possible route for every. Uh, stage in order to just finish a run at all and still have it feel like you're going fast. Hey Jeff, evening sir.
Yeah. I that's never my <laughs> style when I learn runs. I my priority is always just to um, learn what learn a route that'll let me finish and then just work on improving from there. Yeah, if you actually try to go to learn to like they're in the fastest route for every stage, you're never gonna finish a run. There's just some really, really stupidly hard stuff in this game. Run Kishura percent. Uh, well, you could maybe call this Kishura percent because of Creepy Crow, but uh, anyway, let's see what my game time is. <laughs> yeah, another forty-three. 